guess what day it is guess what day it is it's not tuesday guys it's i guess a special edition of try tuesday uh it's that time of the month where we do universal yumps which i know this is kind of our big video for the month because most of you guys tune in for this i believe this month is germany it's according to their spoilers all over their facebook page um <clears throat> what i do want to do before i get into the box is we have the super yum box yes Super Yum box. Yes. It's their most expensive box. I think it runs about $40 a, a month. It's a monthly subscription where you guys get snacks from a different country every single month. If you want to get your hands on that, I'll leave a comment down below of where we've got our referral link, which will get you $5 off your subscription. So it doesn't matter what length of time that you actually subscribe. If you want to get their cheapest box, which I think is like 10 or 15 bucks, does not obviously have everything that hat is in this box, but if you want everything that comes to this box, you got to get the Super Yum box. The Yum, the normal Yum box is, I think, the ten or fifteen, and then they've got the Yum Yum box, which is about twenty-five. Um, so you'll see roughly what you'll what what you'll get in the most expensive box um, in here. Anything else you'd like to add, Miss Yonder's face? Nope. So yeah, it's just five dollars off your first box. Correct. Well, it's five dollars off your subscription. So if you get a, if you just subscribe for a month, you get five dollars right. off. If you get subscribed for six months, you still get just five dollars off. But only the first box, isn't it? I thought yeah. it was just yeah. So no matter your length of subscription, it's five dollars off your first box, not five dollars off your subscription. Because then then that would be the assumption you get five dollars off every month. I didn't assume that. You assumed that. I don't want anyone <laughs> to assume that. It's just off the very first box. Yeah. Anyway. Um, as always, we, we uh, if you have the box or you subscribe to it, we enjoy or employ uh, you guys eating the, the stuff along with us. If you haven't got quite your box yet, um, hopefully this doesn't spoil most of what's in there for you. But, you know, we try the box as we, as we go through it. Uh, all the social media links are down below, so we'll give you updates on anything that comes apart. But anyway, um, someone got in the box. I think it just wore off. This has happened quite a few times, actually. Like, I think they need to redo their packaging of some sort. I think our post office people are getting in our boxes. Getting a bunch of snacks. So you always get the little placard card with some trivia and all the list of snacks and stuff that come in the box. But you also get a little um, booklet that has, like, uh, a description of everything that comes in the box, like snack-wise. The history of why they picked that particular item. Who makes it allergen and stuff like that and then they've got uh trivia and fun little puzzles and stuff at the end but on the very back of the box <clears throat> i'm sorry on the back of the um pamphlet is the clue to next month's uh country it says next month we celebrate love of all kinds love for spouses crushes and yums that we find from 300 year old cookies once made in a churchyard to famous triangle chocolates prepared to fall hard so it's probably Switzerland. Triangle chocolates, isn't that yeah. um, Toblerone? Toblerone? Yeah. Three hundred year old cookies once made in a churchyard. From famous triangle chocolates, prepare to fall hard. I don't know what the fall hard is. Uh, that's a tricky one. Yeah, I think it's Switzerland. What do you guys think? I know that's the neighbor of Germany. Are they? Are they neighbors? I think they're neighbors. They're pretty close. They're, they're, I think they share a border. This, uh, there's the stuff on this placard. I've never, you know, it's not really anything that I usually look at. There's like puzzles and stuff. But there's this thing that says fun and games, top schlagen. A game that you play where you blindfold and, uh, and you hit a pot with a stick. Who mm -hmm. used to play that in German class? Oh. See, she almost got a minor, the wife did. In college for Germany or for, for German. German. <laughs> for Germany. One class um, short. But the last time we had Germany, which was last year or the year before, she couldn't tell me what a lot of this stuff was. So Miss Fancy Pants over here, which which knew, you know, certain things were certain things. Well that that means so floose or has a fuzzin. It's like I don't know the words you. for all the foods. Anyway. It's been many years since I was fluent in German. Ooh, we had these last time. These were pretty good, if I remember correctly. These are Lorenz Curly Peanut Puffs, which 
yes, you can have these. I can't eat dairy for anybody new here. Oh yeah. Ooh. I can, but then I feel awful and have hives. This kind of remind me of like uh, Captain Crunch, the peanut butter Captain Crunch. Oh. Like a crispy peanut yeah. butter kind of thing. That's kind of sweet. It's a little bit more nutty than what Captain Crunch is. More peanut, peanut mm -hmm. But yes, she cannot have dairy. So it's not that I'm trying to, you know. Be mean. Be mean and not share. She breaks out on hives, guys. It's not that she like birds or whatever. It's she legit. We'd have to take her to the ER. Well, so, not that bad. Sometimes maybe, but it's gotten that bad before. <laughs> so you can this okay. They're not as sweet as Captain Crunch. They're very savory peanut. Right. Good. <clears throat> so this one you cannot have because it's chocolate. Okay. It's Chocomonk poppy seed bar. White chocolate with poppy seeds. Ooh, I bet that's good, though. I bet it is good. Well, the German box, or Germany box we had last time, I think was like one of my favorite boxes that we had. I'm pretty sure it, it was some good stuff. not last year. I think it was the year before that. It almost looks like a... Go. Cookies and Cookies cream, and cream bar. bar. Poppy seed doesn't have much flavor though, but mm -hmm. there seem to be a lot of them in there, so I can see it having flavor. I might. <clears throat> this keeper? This keeper. Okay. <laughs> I'm hanging on to that bad boy. He creates little piles to his right of like. Stuff that I want to he likes, and then I can tell once he starts separating things out. <laughs> You'll probably like these. It's the wafer cookies. Ooh. You love the wafer stuff. I'm a sucker for a wafer cookie. Zitron Wafflin wafers with lemon cream. It's a whole bunch of them. Offrey Bathafadin. Does that mean to open this way? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Miss Germany. Like I said, it's been many years. It's been as many years since, since I've spoken German that I have spoken German. We call it a hoof to so for soon. So what? <laughs> I'd like to go to Germany though for Oktoberfest. That'd be fun. It'd be awesome. Ooh, messy. So a standard wafer. Lemony. <laughs> Those are super lemony. Oh, there was actually a pole. A pole thing in there. Well, if you spoke German, you would know. <laughs> Here, can you put all that stuff in there? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Those are very lemony. Very lemony, but very good. Those are those are more you. Those are mm -hmm. those are not care for. And they're good, but I wouldn't eat those again. I'm not a big lemon guy. Uh, these are XO Weibels, which are onion flavored corn rings. Mm. You cannot have these because these are onion. Whatever is an onion thing, so I have like sour cream in them. No, this has whey powder in it. Oh, or that. That's what I'm allergic to, this way. <laughs> Those are super oniony. Those are good. Like uh, Funyun? But more real onion like flavor? in your face onion. Can I smell them? Oh, they are real good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me smell them. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Mm. Makes your eyes swing a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of hurts. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a bunch of these. Sunrise. Crunching nuts. They're hazelnut sunrise, which are milk chocolate with puffed rice, cereal, hazelnuts, and cocoa cream. Obviously, you can have You cannot have these. Yeah. Which I like most of the Rice crispy kind of stuff. I like hazelnut stuff. It's a very big puffed rice. Oh yeah. 
It's okay. <laughs> it's I went on the floor. Mediocre. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of hazelnut. <coughs> a little bit of hazelnut, but not much. Okay. Now that is dense. Looks like a brick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tore marzipan stolen. So it's fruitcake with raisins and marzipan. Mmm, fruitcake. Looks very hard. And sugary. Well, it's just the glaze on top of it. Actually, not bad. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. It's like a, it's almost like a coffee cake, like a condensed coffee cake mm -hmm. with like raisins and sugar and stuff. Mm. That's good. Well, it doesn't look like a traditional fruit cake. Mm -hmm. It's just called a fruit cake. Not that good. Don't you have bad? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Schinken and case knuffles. Sure, ham and cheese corn snacks. More coffee. Is it knuffles or knuffles? Probably this the K is partly silent in that. But is it real cheese? Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> They're real cheesy looking. Ham and cheesy? Good cow. Germany's the place to be, man. <clears throat> It legit tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich. That's weird. <laughs> Those are kind of good. I know a lot of people are not going to like this because of the meat taste. Oh, it has a definite meat taste. Like ham, meat, meat. Well, meat. I like those. Let me smell it and see if I can smell the meat. It's more of a smoky yeah, meat. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. it smells like, a big whiff. No, it smells like wet socks. <laughs> it doesn't taste like wet socks. Good. <laughs> it has a meaty smell. Him beer. It's like some kind of raspberry chocolate. Yeah, chocolate raspberry cream filling. <laughs> Dark chocolate. Which means you can have it. Um, It's got hydrogenated. <laughs> oh, gross. Hammy. <laughs> hydrogenated rapeseed fat. Not grapeseed, grapeseed. Okay. Okay. What? You. What about me? You're funny. Also, sounds like it might storm, so we might get some thunder. It's weird outside. It's supposed to rain this week. I know. There's a lot of stuff in there. Mm hmm. doesn't like it. It's almost like marzipan in the middle. I like the flavor of it. I don't like the texture of it. Yeah, it's more grainy. Like like marzipan. Mm -hmm. Good. Look like they're gonna kill my teeth. They're heavy too. Uh, these were worse mandolin. Ma mandolin. Can you say that? Sure. 
I don't know what these words are. You know the phonetics of the language, though. Yeah. I, the second way you said it. The Germans are probably laughing at me. They're like, ha, 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 that silly American can't speak German. They're chocolate-coated roasted almonds with spices. And some of the spices you can't have. Okay. Because it's got milk powder on them. Okay. Those are big-ass almonds, though. Oh, they're like chewy. I don't think I'd probably like those if, if I could have them. Oh, it is like chocolate on the outside. So chocolate with some spices. Pow Ooh, powdered sugar. See? Oh. Yeah, don't show me. Show them. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Okay. Mm. We need to take a break. And we're back. Just like that. Um. So we got another of the same shuckle monk. It's called a hedgehog slice. What was the other one called? Premium white chocolate with poppy seed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This says milk chocolate with cookies. <coughs> Hedgehog slice, also called cold snout or cellar cake. It's a famous no-bake dessert. Made from <clears throat> chocolate and German biscuits, similar to graham crackers. Oh, where you like melt it all up and create little chunks of it, probably. Probably. That's already kind of broken. Little cookie chunks in there? Or can you see the cookie chunks? Mm. It's almost got like a Rice Krispie consistency. Okay. But it's really good chocolate. Wow, well, I, I like, hope so. I like that chocolate. Both of those are the chocolate I'm keeping. I wish I could read the language. <laughs> I know these are potatoes because palms. Palms, yeah. Palms, currywurst. Currywurst flavored potato fries. Currywurst. But if you use more like a V. See? You know the phonetics. <laughs> what is currywurst? Probably curry. Well, I'm sure it's meat flavored. Oh, they're like. Uh, Hollow square tubes. Yeah, dairy. No. Do they taste like meat? Mm, no. Okay. I got tomato powder on them though. That's why they're <coughs> kind of red. Okay, yeah, smell kind of <coughs> some <coughs> curry seasoning in there. It doesn't taste like curry though. It's got curry powder on it. You can smell it. I can't taste it, but it's not bad. They're kind of ho ho. Yeah, they're nothing like jump out at you, but they're not bad. Ooh, more wafers. Wafers with black currant cork cream. Mmm. Mmm. I like black currant. I'll miss the wafers are everywhere. I'll beat up. It's the same brand, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <coughs> it's okay. Don't necessarily get the black currant though. Okay. Can I try those? But I could the lemon ones? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. You're all sad. I like wafers. I know. 
And those aren't ones that I would eat either. I know. <laughs> Makes it even worse. It's because they have um, yogurt powder. Oh. Gotcha. Crowder mix. They're herb flavored crackers. So shame. <laughs> Can't have these either. It's turned out to be a pretty crappy box for you, isn't it? Well, I had like three things. Yeah. Well, let's cut all sorts of herbs on them. Crunchy bad I bet, though. Almost like a wafer. Kick in the face. Ooh. It's like a wimpy Triscuit. But got the same kind of like herb consistency. Okay. Hmm. Looks well, so like it's parsley, chive, garlic, and onion. These aren't half bad. Sounds like a good mix. Mm-hmm. The texture is really weird though. Like they almost melt in your mouth because mm -hmm. they're wafers. But they're very savory. Hmm. Wafers. Wafers with bilberry cream. These you can have. Yes, yes, yes. You'll probably like them though. It's blueberries. I don't know. Is there anything like the other one? They're probably not. I like some wafer stuff, but it just gets so messy. These smell really good. <laughs> Like blueberries. Yeah, the wafers are real crumbly on those. Those are not bad. <laughs> They're much better than the other ones. Is it like a more true blueberry flavor? No, it's very subtle. They're good though. Yeah. Those lemon ones are strong mm -hmm. in comparison. These look like little Reese cups, but not. Mini 40s. For so your kinder. You're supposed to pop these in the fridge though. But for kids. Uh -huh. Figured not. They're pretty melty. What do they taste like? Little chocolate. Oh, it's like little chocolate coins. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Which I think they actually have milk in them. Like, that's what the white stuff is. Oh. Mm. Got gypped. We didn't get an item? Yeah. The fizzy drink mix powder. Oh. oh wait, no, it's in here. Okay. You tricked me. Well, <clears throat> we can't try it though. Sure I can. <laughs> You're gonna spew <laughs> it everywhere. I could just see it now. You're gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> You're gonna spew it everywhere. Come do that in a second. The last Oh, too bad you can't have this. Shuckamunk strawberry rhubarb. Oh. I've just been watching a British bake show where they've been cooking a lot of rhubarb things and it all sounds really good. She loves rhubarb. I love rhubarb. Which, 
just looks like it has real pieces in it. Jealous. I don't want to taste the rhubarb part. Too much strawberry. Well, the rhubarb is much more like a tangy. Does it have like a little zip to it at all? Like a. Well. You still haven't had my award winning strawberry rhubarb pie. Beat out the little old ladies with my pie making skills. <laughs> so we got three Hemble and one orange. But I think they gave us too many of one. Yeah, because there's four flavors. It looks like they're supposed to be Waldmeister, him, him beer, orange, and lemon. Oh, you're supposed to take this with, with vodka. So what it says? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said instead of mixing the powder with water, they use vodka to make a popular party drink. They pour this stuff into their mouths and then take a shot of vodka, then gurgle the combination before swallowing. Might have to try that. I think that's going to be an uh, Instagram post. Yeah. We'll save that one for later. Poker night. Yeah. That, that, yeah, we'll, we'll do that this weekend, see how he goes with that. <laughs> At Mr. Blubber Coins. Uh, cola, lemon, raspberry, cherry, and orange flavored assorted sher sherbet candy. Which means I can have it. Does it? I don't remember. <laughs> if it's real sherbet, then no, you cannot. Because that has cream in it. Sorbet. Sorbet. See, I don't. Have. But this, ironically, does not have. Because it's candy and it's all fake. I think that was cola. There's candy in the U.S. like that, where it like is real chalky and fizzy. Yeah, like was well, like bottle caps. Yeah, with a fizziness to it. Mm -hmm. Which one did you get? I think cola. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Eh. Not my favorite. No. Uh, so we've got <clears throat> sour fruit toffees, which are, we've got apple, we've got grapefruit, apple and grapefruit. <laughs> Man, they shorted us on those too because they had Johan's beer and Maracuja. Yeah, and you got a whole bunch of them over there. They just didn't give you an assortment of the flavors. Yeah. Here, I'll let you try grapefruit. Okay. Because I don't like grapefruit. I'll do apple. Apple, passion fruit, grapefruit, and current flavored assorted chewing candies. Look like now and laters. Yeah. Oh, but they're not as hard as now and laters. Oh, it's like Laffy Taffy almost, but like super chewy. That's a good grapefruit flavor. It's really... Well... Makes you do that? <laughs> it's the tart apple. Hurts my, that. hurts my face. Uh, and then we got hazelnut uh, melted chocolates. Which I don't think there's any different flavors. I think they're just... Different colored wrappers? Different colored wrappers, yeah. Let's see that one. Oh, it's very soft. Mm. Well, melting chocolate. Is it supposed to be like mixed in with milk or something? Mm hmm. No, like it It just melts. Oh. That's pretty good, though. Milked out. 
So we're gonna do the drinks a different time on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Favorite. Probably right. that ham and cheese. <laughs> That's so gross. I know. A lot of the chocolates are very, very good. Well, but a lot of them taste the same as far as the chocolate part consistency. Okay. Um, so ham and cheese are the best, second best. Probably the onion rings. Okay. The worst. Mm. Nothing was truly awful. I didn't like the lemon wafers. Those were not good. If that's his least favorite, though, that's not that bad. Yeah. Weirdest. Um. Probably these little crackers. But in a not bad way. Yeah. They're interesting. Right. Well, yeah. Weird slash interesting. That can yeah. go hand in hand. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, I'm glad you, you came along with us and, and enjoyed the video. We're getting very, excuse my burp, we're getting very close to a thousand subscribers. So if you have been watching the channel and think you want to subscribe, we're going to be doing a good, a, probably a big giveaway for a thousand. Once we do that, we're, we'll have like four or five winners, different things that we've done on channel. Um, also, the wife will make an appearance too. So if you've been trying to see, you just made a weird face. <laughs> um... If you want to see her, she'll make an appearance in a thousand subscribers too. And on my weird faces. Um, yes. Like I said, if you want to subscribe to Universal Yums, we've been doing it for years. It's a great box. Um, I'll have the $5 referral code down there for you. You just visit the link and then um, you subscribe that way. Um, anything else you want to add real quick before I do my outro? Okay. Well, if you like if you like this video guys hit that thumbs up button if you have any questions or comments about what we ate in this video or future videos down below is where you do it feel free to share this video as you see fit and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe until then have a nice day